I'm co-founder and partner at Matthew & Gosh Architects. We like to call ourselves a reflective research-based practice. I'm in the HR industry and within HR I'm in uh, something called talent and organizational capability. That would include things like training, performance management, uh, succession planning, just things around employee culture and employee experience within the organization. The change in our profession that disrupted work, uh, of course, was part of a much larger development of software. From being purely a hand-driven effort in terms of making drawings, it moved to the idea of using drawing as a tool to think. I think within uh, the industry, there has been a huge um, movement to just make the workplace a lot more inclusive and diverse. Things like ensuring women have uh, an equal say or an equal opportunity at work. The major and mandatory shift that will become critical now and in the days to come is a deep understanding of the ecology of a place. This will warrant the ability to work with professionals and experts outside of the realm of architecture in order to also look at new kinds of projects which uh, address ecology head-on in the face of a crisis a crisis of water, a crisis of garbage, a crisis of energy. The workplace always has different opportunities and always has uh, a place for you to be able to use your skill set. So whatever you have learned, whatever you, skills that you have developed previously, uh, it's always useful to carry those skills and you can still use it at your workplace. Colossians 3.23 says, whatever you do, do it with all your heart. So having that constant reminder, especially for myself, to do it with all my heart. The second thing would probably be just being empathetic and loving. Reaching out, talking to people, because you never know who needs it. I've often leaned on the Holy Spirit for ideas when I felt vacant and um, uninspired. And um, the Holy Spirit never fails us.